Hello everyone, once again welcome to my OIT channel. Today we will have another one OIT role play discussion. The setting is pediatric ward and you are talking to a parent of 10 years old boy who has undergone tonsillectomy and this is nothing but discharge discussion. So we will see the setting, it is pediatric ward and the task before going to task the scenario is a 10 year old boy has had a tonsillectomy and is due for discharge the day after surgery. And we are talking to patient's mother. His mother thinks Mike should stay longer. As she says, he is still in severe pain and does not appear to be very alert. Mike has a fever and looks unwell. He is having difficulty taking fluids. And he is on Tylenol for the pain. His recovery is expected to take between 10 and 20 days. The parent appears anxious about the child's condition. So this is the scenario, overall scenario. So here you have to underline tonsillectomy and the boy's name has given already Mike. So no need to ask to the interlocutor. And um, now he is getting discharged but uh, mother is thinking that he needs some more hospitalization. And still patient has uh, severe pain and uh, fever. Uh, moreover, there is difficulty for taking fluids also. But he is on medications for pain. And the recovery will be expected within 10 to 20 days. Okay, so this is the overall scenario. Now we are going to talk with the patient, patient's mother. And the task is, first one, confirm the son's readiness for discharge. No complication. Find out parents' concern. Example, pain management, self-care after discharge. So you are going to uh, see the parent and the, uh, with the parent. So what you have to do, you have to ask mother's name during treatment uh, preparation time no need baby's name because they have given that it's mike so you will just ask that name and you have to write parent name in bigger letters and baby's name in small letter in your card it will be easy for you to present during the conversation and how we can start we can start like this um an example mother's name is maria so how we can start a conversation good morning maria how are you and how is your baby doing so this is the casual talk. Then the answer will be, good morning sister, I am fine and Mike also is okay. And then our task is we are going to introduce regarding the readiness for discharge. Then you can tell that Miss Mary actually I came here with the good news that your son is getting discharged today. Are you aware about that? And do you have any concern regarding uh, his pain management or any self-care after discharge to home? Then the answer will be, I'm really somewhat worried about his condition, sister, because still he has some um, uh, fever and severe pain. And I'm not, I'm thinking that still he needs some more hospitalization. Then, then our next task is confirm hospital stay not necessary. Example, standard procedure, satisfactory recovery. Reassure the patient about some symptoms, normal pain, pain medication, versus one to one or two weeks, intense pain, seek medical help. So what we are going to tell is, first one should be a reassurance. So we can tell that, Miss Maria, I can truly understand your concern being a mother, how you are feeling in this moment. But no need to worry about your baby's condition because he has undergone a standard procedure. And he has a satisfactory recovery as per his doctor's note. And I can reassure you that your baby's symptoms like um, pain and difficulty to swallow and everything, it is very quite no normal after tonsillectomy surgery because it will take one or two weeks to get complete relief from all these symptoms. And another one more thing I would like to tell you that if your baby have intense pain, you can seek medical attention for him at the hospital uh, whenever it is required. Other than that, uh, no need any medical attention because upon discharge, we will give you pain medication for your baby. How does that sound? Like that, we can ask with reassurance, you have to explain everything to mother. And then the next task will be explain after effects of tonsillectomy, like pain, ears, pain over your neck or jaw, nausea and vomiting, mild fever, bad breath, swelling of the tongue or throat. Can be other difficulties child may suffer, like feel something stuck in throat, anxiety or sleep disturbances. So the mother's answer will be, uh, okay, it's fine, sister, I can understand. So could you please tell me, maybe the question will be, uh, could you please tell me the after effects of the surgery? Or else maybe mother will tell that, okay, it's fine, I can understand. Then we can tell that 
and uh, miss maria i would like to tell you that uh, longer hospitalization is also it's not mandatory for babies after um, hospitalization uh, because after tonsillectomy i can tell you that the some of the normal after effects are pain over ears neck jaw sometimes babies may experience nausea and vomiting mild fever bad breath and swelling of the tongue or throat uh in addition there will be some other side effect some other after effects such as feeling something stuck in the throat anxiety or sleep disturbances these everything are very common among patients those who have undergone those who are undergoing the surgery so are you getting my point so for your baby also i mean for my also these all symptoms are very na- normal one and uh, within one or two weeks i can reassure you that it will fade out normally without any management is it okay with you like that we can ask the next task is explain post discharge care after discharge after getting discharge what will the care like medication directed by surgeon fluids plenty Uh, plenty of fluids avoid dehydration consider water and ice pops rest bed rest in initial days no strenuous activities for two weeks then we can ask uh, miss maria do you have any con- any more concern regarding max management at home then maybe my ma- mother is asking that sister really i am uh, thinking about the care after discharge because i am not um, sure about what other things i have to take care then we can tell that no need to worry miss maria i will explain you the post discharge care the first thing will be medication please follow all doctors uh, instructions for medications regarding fluid uh, please provide him plenty of fluids to avoid dehydration consider water and ice pops also because he has undergone tonsillectomy regarding rest uh, please provide him adequate bed rest for initial days and um, please try to avoid strenuous activities for him for two weeks so this are the post care uh post discharge management so are you getting my point or is it clear for you like that we can ask and then one thing you can ask your patient do you have any concern the another topic you can explain yourself like uh, advice dietary regimen we can tell yourself and uh, now i would like to give you some more information regarding his dietary regimen may i like that we can ask may i explain you then after getting permission you can continue uh here everything it should be like a polite manner um, you should not use any uh, demanding words like you need uh, he has to he need to like that so it's in simple way you can present like this it is very essential for him to have food which is easy to chew swallow such as ice cream and pudding if tolerated please try to avoid acidic spicy hard and crunchy foods so these are the things please take care for his dietary regimen are you following me like that you can ask then we can ask do you have any 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 more concern to clarify then the mother's question may be regarding the socialization could you please tell me uh, whether i can send him school uh, after the after the uh, day after the next day of discharge then we can tell that i can truly understand your concern miss maria but i'm really sorry to tell you that the thing is we are providing a time scale for socialization so we can tell that i'm really sorry to inform you regarding the socialization um it is advisable to avoid visitors and uh, people with a cough and cold uh, because if he return to school um, maybe there is a chance to get infection so please try to give him adequate rest uh, at least minimum one or two weeks uh, from school so he can take rest at home how does that sound like that we can ask then we can ask another one more thing when uh, she will resume to normal diet and when her when his sleep when he will uh, return to normal diet and when his sleep sleeping pattern will be normalized without without any disturbances moreover when uh, he will be out of pain medication you can send him school so is it okay for you like that we can ask and the last task is when to see the doctor so you can ask do you have any, any more concerns then maybe the parents question will be yeah my last question will be uh, this is the one when i have to get him back to the school back to the uh, hospital for follow up then we can tell that um, actually no need for any appointment or any follow up um, follow up uh, visit for him because um uh, it is advisable for him to get to the emergency department only if he has any bleeding fever signs of dehydration or any breathing difficulty if nothing is there no need for any follow up care you can continue the 
um, stay and once if he will uh, resume all normal uh, parameters you can send him school so that is the uh, uh, all instructions then how we can conclude then we can ask that miss maria i hope i have clarified all your doubts do you have any more concerns or any more questions then if there is no means we can just conclude if you don't have any questions uh, may i proceed with his discharge procedure so that is the conclusion because we, we came here to discuss regarding discharge procedure and um, if you have time you can sum up but here of course you will not get uh, the time but if you get time you can just sum up uh, for now we have discussed regarding uh, his dietary management medications um, rest and um, visitor restrictions air precautions everything so i hope everything is clear if i if you follow all these measures of course uh, mike will get well soon so like that we can sum up then if you don't have any other questions uh, may I proceed with his discharge process? So that is the end of the role play. So like this, you can sum up uh, this type, such type of discharge discussion is um, a very common question among all OET exam. Uh, in that, if you are talking directly to patient, it will be easy. But if you are talking to parent, means it will be a um, somewhat uh, difficult task because always you have to use the word. It is essential. It is um, beneficial. It is advisable. Please try to avoid for him, her like that. You have to be conscious because when you are explaining, it should not be towards the parent. It should be uh, belongs to the patient. So that is the thing you have to keep it in your mind. I hope it is clear for you. We will see you with another one role play discussion. Until then, bye. Take care.